If you don't have the space for a massive soundbar, but you still want better sound for your 4K TV, there is a solution that might surprise you. Meet the Polk Magnify Mini AX, a super compact soundbar and subwoofer combo with Dolby Atmos. If you might have the biggest moment of your time. In this review, I'll take a look at what you're getting with this audio duo, how it sounds, what it's like to set up and control, what you can connect to it, and if overall I think it's a good audio solution for your home. The Polk Magnify Mini AX connects to your TV using an included HDMI cable and aims to bridge the gap between great sound and not taking up too much space. When you unpack it and take a look at the soundbar side by side with the massive subwoofer, it's clear how very small the Magnify Mini AX is. It's easy to be skeptical that something so small should actually produce any kind of quality sound. We will get to that sound quality very soon, I promise. I will also add here that I reviewed the original version of this soundbar back in 2018, and I had some surprisingly good experiences with it, so I'm excited to see what this newer model brings. It seems to me that the key upgrades to this setup are the design enhancements to make it maybe a bit slicker and the addition of Dolby Atmos support. In the box, you get pretty much everything you need for the soundbar to work, and I love the fact that there is that HDMI cable included, but there are no other cables in there. The back of the soundbar, though, does have ports for other options if you need them, including an auxiliary and optical audio, too. You also get a remote control, and the batteries are included. Quick controls are also located on the top of the soundbar. The Polk Magnify Mini AX is about 14 inches wide by 4 inches by 3 inches. Amazingly, this soundbar is smart enough to set itself up with your TV. I'm using the Magnify Mini AX with a Samsung Frame TV in my living room, and the soundbar and the TV were able to establish an instant connection, and I didn't have to do a thing. Even the sub paired to the soundbar without any help from me. I was also instantly able to use my Samsung TV's remote control to control the soundbar as well. Somebody was trying to create a path leading like the first version I reviewed this soundbar was able to wow me with steps. its ultra wide sound stage the soundbar sounds quite good and does an excellent job at projecting into the room despite its diminutive size my folks had told me to reach for the stars and then this is a very powerful soundbar, and it sounds rich and full and easily fills a room. I think you could easily convince someone in a blind test here that it is actually a full-size soundbar. You have to keep looking to understand every possible thing. It the could bass quality is outstanding too, thanks to that massive subwoofer. Admittedly, some users might find the soundbar is a little too compact for their tastes. I can say I tested this mini soundbar after testing a full-size soundbar, also from Polk, and while I did notice the difference between them, using them back to back, by the next day I had all but forgotten about the full-size option. The Magnify Mini AX is that good, it can make you forget how small it is since it keeps dazzling you with its great audio quality. You can use your soundbar with Bluetooth or connect a tablet or computer over Wi-Fi and use Apple AirPlay 2, Google Chromecast and Spotify Connect. A cool feature of the soundbar is night mode. This feature I'm seeing pop up more and more in home theater audio because it can fix a pretty common issue a lot of us have, and that's watching TV at night without waking up the house. Night mode softens the bass while increasing the voices and keeping the overall volume more consistent, so you don't need to wake the family up at top volume or strain to hear your movie. When I tried it out, it does noticeably drop the bass, but otherwise things sound good and clear. We took a few steps. A feature the original Mini had, and this one has too, is Polk's voice adjust technology. Gunshot ricocheted through the trees and then suddenly stopped and... This option uses speech clarifying technology with the soundbar's center channel speaker to bring up the level of voices without affecting the rest of the audio. I found in my testing when watching some programs and movies this setting definitely did help the voices punch through better. It somehow enhances them and just makes them more noticeable over any background scene noise. Now how does the Dolby Atmos sound? The Magnify Mini AX here has audio capabilities that work to mimic the sound effects of a fuller surround sound system but using only that soundbar. 
Dolby Atmos is designed to introduce overhead audio channels into full surround sound systems. And unless you're in a spot where you're going to be adding overhead speakers to your house, which not many of us are, many sound bars will instead use overhead firing channels in the top of the sound bar to mimic this effect. Now, there aren't any up-facing speakers in the Magnify Mini AX, so what you're essentially getting here is a digital illusion. I'd say there's no rabbit in this hat, however. While the Magnify Mini AX gets nice and full and loud and does a really great job of filling the room, it's got a long way to go to reach the ceiling. So can it mimic a true Dolby Atmos system? In a word, nah. I should also point out that the speaker sounds much better if you are sitting right in front of it. If you are off to the side, the audio can sound a bit more directional and narrower, whereas right in front, you do get a much wider soundscape. Overall, there's plenty to enjoy about the Polk Magnify Mini AX. Also, I hope you didn't forget that you're supposed to be working the sound quality is excellent, whether it's TV audio or music streaming. The compact size of the soundbar is nice, and it's deceptively powerful. I'm also blown away by how easy it is to set up. It's quite literally plug and play with no fussing with apps or setup screens. If there are any downsides, it's possibly the shape of the soundbar might be the one reason I would opt not to get it. Though small, it is rather chunky, plus it can't be wall mounted without getting highly creative, so it does kind of need a piece of furniture to sit on, meaning if you have a wall mounted TV as I do, it may not be the best option. The size of the wireless subwoofer may also be a bit of a conundrum, particularly since the soundbar is so small, it may be harder to find a place for the sub that's out of the way. Keeping up with the magic references, while the soundbar may be able to almost pull a disappearing act, the subwoofer is the Statue of Liberty that only David Copperfield will be able to hide. Even so, I actually really like the Magnify Mini AX Duo. It's been a really capable audio solution for my living room here. I can absolutely recommend it for you if you're looking for better sound in a much smaller package. It sells for about $6.99 Canadian and you can get it from Polk, Amazon or Best Buy. But if size matters to you, you can check out a much bigger and more powerful option that also comes with a much bigger price tag. Meet the Sonos Arc, or check out Polk's own bigger soundbar solution, which I found sounds surprisingly great right now.